folks, I thought I'd do a quick video on the Altimeter 2 since it's a pretty useful piece of equipment for those who are into model rocketry. Uh, you can only use it for model rocketry as that's the profile it's looking for. Um, but it comes up with a heck of a lot of data, uh, which you can see here. I've just got uh, the manual. Uh, you can see all the sort of things that will come up with. We'll look at that in more detail later on. And then you've got the unit itself, which is right here. Just to give you a size comparison, um, it's not much bigger than my thumb. In fact, it's smaller than my thumb. Uh, so you can see you can put it in some pretty tiny little rockets before you've got the holes drilled out. Uh, I'll show you what I've done um, with those. To turn it on, it's very simple. You just press the red button and it should be armed. It comes up with its loading screen and then you get some flashing zeros and it's ready to go. Right, so on the screen at the moment you can see a picture uh, which is showing the different phases of flight that the altimeter measures. So you know what I'm talking about when I'm uh, showing you that later on. Uh, initial burn time, you've got your peak boost acceleration, average acceleration, maximum velocity, coast time to apogee, apogee to ejection right at the top there. Uh, you've got altitude to apogee and altitude to ejection so you can see how far the rockets come down after apogee. And then it shows your average descent rate, your total flight duration, all the way down to touchdown. Uh, so we'll show you that data later on when I uh, go launch on my metalizer. Uh, I've had to make some holes in it, which I'll show you now. So here you can see one of the two mil holes that I've drilled in the side of the rocket. That's to let the air from outside and inside equalize. So then that way the altimeter can get a accurate measurement of the altitude. So with that done, let's put the altimeter into the rocket and go flyer. Well, it's a little breezy, but uh, we'll send her up anyway into this nice blue sky. And uh, so, you know, we're using some C-65s. Okay. Okay folks, so there we go, we had the launch, um, it was quite a long way into it and we got quite a stiff breeze today, hence the relatively no, low numbers as you can see from the arc of the flight, but we got the data, um, so you can see flashing through there, 96 miles an hour and a top height apogee of 391 feet. Now if I press and hold this button, I can show you here until it says data, and I let it go, burn time we had of 2 seconds, and it keeps going peak acceleration of 7.6 G so it got going average acceleration of 2.2 G nice and gentle coast to apogee was 5.1 seconds that sounds about right uh, apogee to ejection we had it always says minus 0.1 I have to work that one out um, ejection altitude 296 feet so we lost about 100 foot there, and then uh, the descent speed of 10 miles an hour, nice and gentle. Duration of the flight, last thing, 25.5 seconds. So uh, that's it, and then it goes back to cycling through your uh, initial data. Um, so like I say, on a, on a calm day, I'd have probably got about 700 foot out of it, but like I say, I had to fly it into wind quite a, bot a lot today, but I just wanted to uh, show you what this is all about. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that uh, episode, you found it informative. Uh, there's also a sheet of paper which you can jot all of these uh, bits of information down on. Um, I'll show you that one in my uh, up and coming level one video, so uh, look out for that. If you enjoyed today, of course, it goes without saying, please rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.